Hello, I'm Dr. Lance Pagliaro and I'm speaking to you from MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. I'd like to thank the editors of BJU International for selecting our paper as Article of the Week. My co-authors on this work are Dr. Bradley Carthen, Dr. Chan Ng, and Dr. Curtis Petaway. Our paper is entitled Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor Targeted Therapy in Locally Advanced or Metastatic Squamous Cell Carcinoma of the Penis. Our objective was to evaluate a single institution clinical experience with EGFR-targeted therapies in patients with penile or scrotal cancer. We reviewed charts from January 2002 through January of 2009, recording any patient who re received EGFR-targeted therapy for penile or scrotal cancer. 24 patients had received EGFR-targeted therapies. Eight had received an EGFR-targeted drug alone, 13 had received cetuximab plus a platinum drug. The remaining three patients had received cetuximab plus paclitaxel ephosphamide and cisplatin. The treatments were well tolerated. The most common adverse effect was grade one or two rash. Cellulitis, thrombocytopenia, and bronchospasm of grade three or four were seen in one patient each. One patient had tumor hemorrhage that was unrelated. One patient died from undetermined cause. The median overall survival was 29.6 weeks. The expected median survival for, for patients treated in the first line is six months. The fact that we observed a median survival of approximately six months in these heavily pretreated patients is notable. 13 patients had immunohistochemistry for EGFR. All were positive. We did see responses. Uh, this figure shows uh, three examples patients treated with cetuximab or cetuximab and cisplatin. This shows the responses for, the, for all of the patients in the clinical trial according to treatment. The largest number of patients had received cetuximab or cetuximab and cisplatin. And if we focus on those 17 patients, we see that there were four responses or 23.5%. In conclusion, EGFR targeted therapies are well tolerated. Cetuximab has anti-tumor activity in metastatic penile cancer. Also, cetuximab may enhance the effect of cisplatin-based chemotherapy. Prospective studies of EGFR-targeted therapies in men with penile cancer are warranted. Our study had some notable limitations. Its retrospective design, possible influence of patient selection, a heterogeneity among the patient set and the treatments given, and the lack of a comparator arm. Nevertheless, to our knowledge, this is the largest series of patients with penile cancer treated with targeted therapy. And these preliminary results will, will be helpful in designing future clinical trials. Thank you.